but this is Ben Sand, who's the COO of MetaView, which is definitely one of the most exciting AR startups. And I know you're going to tell us all about it, so I'm not going to say much more. <laughs> Thanks, Tish. Uh, my name is Ben Sand. I'm the CEO and uh, co-founder at Meta. Aaron Gribitz, our CEO, uh, will be available to take questions today. He was meant to be doing this presentation, however, had an emergency root canal yesterday, so you will forgive him for not uh, being up on stage. All right, so we're Meta, and uh, this is about the visions of an augmented future, so let's have a look at uh, what we've let people know uh, our vision is. This is what we're looking to build. We're really excited to be working with so many wonderful people in the community, and uh, we're very privileged to have had three of them join our team. Steve Feiner is our lead advisor, and uh, 25 years has been working in this field. Jace Hansen built the graphics for Iron Man and Avengers, the user interfaces that you've seen there. He's our director of art. And Steve Mann, who you all know, is our chief scientist. This is what we're trying to build. We're trying to make Iron Man a reality. And we've made some progress there. We launched the Meta One last night, and it's available here at AWE for you to demo. It's the most advanced augmented reality headset available. It has the most sensors of any device. It has the greatest library of software for you to get started with. And it's all available in Unity 3D. So there's two million people in the world who know how to use this pair of glasses right now with no more skills. And the proof of that has been uh, in the amazing work of our pioneers, who have been building applications in under two days, medical simulations, architectural visualizations, sales tools. We have 1,000 people wanting to work on our platform. 500 of them have started applications, and 100 of those pioneers have been uh, specially selected to come and work with us. And we really welcome people who, uh, who want to apply to be part of that program. Our team's growing. We're at 35 people now. We're just up the road. And thank you to everyone who came to our party last night. It was really wonderful to have you all there. Our vision for the future is one where augmented reality is involved in every collaboration, bringing people back to a face-to-face -face environment, allowing people to sit across the desk from each other and not stare into a screen, but into each other's eyes. The content belongs in the background around us as tools for us to work with, but it's not the focus of what we're doing anymore. It belongs where it should be in the real world, lined up. A helmet belongs on someone's face, not somewhere else on a screen. And ultimately, the information panels that we're used to working with belong around us as augmented overlay surfaces. So this is Meta. This is our vision for the world. Um, we'd be glad to take questions, and we'd be really glad to give you a demo down in the main theater. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. That, yes, I really encourage people to go and try this, you know, the Meta, Meta Eyewear out, because this is a unique opportunity. So uh, we have a little moment for maybe one or two questions. So 
Do I see a hand up? Oh, we got them. Are the glasses completely self-contained? The battery, processing, GPU, everything? The current developer model connects to a computer, so you can develop very, very quickly. It's entirely focused to people in a current development environment, and future models will be completely self-contained. Okay, so heat dissipation is not an issue right now? Uh, we haven't experienced any issues with that. Uh, we've had very efficient chips in there. Okay, cool. I just want to hand over, I'm handing over my mic because we have a surprise guest who was here to ask a few questions, and it's a great opportunity. Thanks very much. I, uh, I'm Aaron, the CEO of Meta, and I'd love to uh, help uh, Ben with the questions, if you have any. Can you speak up a bit? We've got one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, as I'm, I'm sure you guys are very aware, dynamic registration for optical see-through augmented reality is, is very difficult, as uh, Ron Azuma's work showed maybe 20 years ago or so. Uh, specifically, the first part of the question is latency, what is currently latency, and also how far do you see off or dynamic registration being at the, the single pixel um, accuracy and precision? I'll let Ben answer the latency question, and I'll jump in for the next. Sure. We're working with uh, professors from Stanford to calibrate the actual experience. Different types of experiences have different demands for latency. Changes in color versus changes in position all uh, result in a different experience for the user. And it's not about one number. It's about making an experience that feels tight and reliable for someone uh, in the experience that you're giving them. So the, I guess the short answer is we're working very hard on it. We're testing it. And there's uh, actually seven different areas that it's, uh, that it's interesting to focus on in that area for visual perception. And I'd be glad to go over those uh, with you in detail on the floor later. As for registration, uh, we've done some pretty amazing innovations uh, on the real-time uh, surface tracking uh, just from IR time of flight sensing. Um, and then we index those using, uh, using our own home-cooked SLAM uh, algorithms uh, that are uh, mobile uh, processing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's just a lot of uh, cool work being done, and I'm glad to go uh, even more in depth uh, at our booth uh, and not in front of a very large audience. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Do we have a, another question? It might be the last one, but uh, I think we have one. Uh, okay, over here. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, it's really dark out there, so you have to wave and make movement. Hey, my name's Simon. Thanks. You guys have come a long way in terms of providing a beautiful uh, visual interface and beginning pioneering work on control interfaces. As Thanks, you look man. ahead, maybe two, three years, obviously the control interface becomes really important as you've done fantastic work on the visual interface. What is your hope for the future of control interfaces? What do you want to see happen that's going to make meta solutions better in the future? Without going into too much depth, we're working on a very, very interesting window uh, management system uh, inspired by Steve Feiner's early work um, and many others. Um, it's going to be simply the most efficient, non-invasive, beautiful uh, controller that one can imagine. Um, and that's as deep as I'll go on that question. But we're really, really focused on that. Someone behind is raising a hand? That's a yawn. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry, okay, great. I'm not yawning. Uh, so you mentioned the um, glasses work with uh, Unity, which is a game, uh, gaming design software. What about uh, computer-aided design, like uh, other softwares like SolidWorks or Pro Engineer? Uh, what is what is there in your plans for the future for engineers and designers like myself? We're uh, building a, a wonderful tool to allow you to visualize collaboratively uh, your models from either SolidWorks, uh, 3ds, Maya, and uh, to kind of to work with them um, on a very rough way. Uh, those of you who, who were here last year know that I uh, hold a lot of stock in uh, tools for mechanical engineers and, um, and artists as well. Um, and we're, we're going down that path, uh, providing you with the, the tools that you've kind of dreamt of and you really want uh, to have. For, specifically for mechanical engineering, we have tools for ideation, uh, we have tools for, um, for gaining approval from a manager, say, where they could select a vertex and rate it. Uh, and in the future, of course, we'll have tools for selling things to each other. 
Um, so it's going to be very exciting in a couple of years for um, mechanical engineers. Um, I think we actually have to stop because we'll thank completely lose our break. But really, thank you, Maren, for coming despite your root canal and everything. <laughs>